Hi y'all, this is Kirsten. I've had a lot of people ask me to explain or show the difference between 3D artwork and AI artwork. So I created a video in which I'm going to use the Genesis 8 basic female and then I'm going to do customized morphs to make the younger character. And so then at the, at the end I'm going to show you how AI works. So we're going to start with the base character. And then I'm going to uh, use the growing up product because that gives you some nice age presets that we can start with. So we're going to go to the growing up product and then I'm going to pick um, the age preset. I'm going to do young teen, which most of us call tween. And so that's where I'm going to start with that base character. And then I will morph from head to toe, literally, through it. And I'm going to speed this recording up for when I'm doing all the morphs because otherwise this the recording would be over two, two hours long. Uh, it took me about two hours to create the character, and this is actually minimal morphs compared to what I usually do when I make my kid characters. And because she's older, it's, she's easier because the proportions are already pretty good. So then at the end, I'm going to show you how AI works. So now we're going to get to the speed it up section and we're going to start with the eyes. I'll see you all later.
Okay, I'm back. Now that you've seen the process of creating a character in Das Studio, which is 3D software, I'm going to take you into Mid Journey, which is an AI generator, and show you the difference. Uh, even though it, it's very realistic and they look really good, it's still a very different process. And you can, you'll see when you do basically what you do with Mid Journey is you use text prompts. You aren't doing any designing yourself or anything like that. You aren't making a character. You simply do the text prompts. And here I'll show you. You do imagine and then you type in your prompt. And for this one, because Barbie is really big right now, not that I'm saying I promote Barbie or anything, or the, but um, the little girls are really into Barbie right now. So I thought I would do see what Mid Journey did with a Barbie photo shoot. And so in this one, I'm doing a photorealistic little girl and a Barbie photo shoot with, I think, lots of pink. Because, of course, Barbie and pink, they go together. And then I put in what type of lighting I want. And then I do it. And I always do an aspect ratio of 5 to 4 because I do most of my artwork is 20 by 16. So now we're going to see what happens. And I'm doing this in real time. So you see how fast it actually is compared to the whole process. And like I said, the character took me two hours. And you can see this is already working on uh, creating the images right now for me with mid journey. And, uh, like I said, though, the character I created in Das studio this time is nothing compared to the normal amount of time I do when I create characters, because I don't normally use, uh, I can't normally use a preset because I was normally do a lot of times do younger characters. So this one is now up at, at 62% as it's processing and uh, mid journey always does four it gives you four options and then you have options to upscale uh, you can do varieties on options it, th there's several options that you can actually do and so as soon as this finishes I'm gonna I'll click on it and so you can see it a little larger and this is what it brought up for a photo shoot with a young girl in Barbie style, which is great, but I did nothing except for te type the text. Uh, the AI program did everything else. So now I'm going to try a different one uh, with the, another prompt just so you can see that you can type in anything you want. I mean, you can type in anything that some of the ones above are completely different and I couldn't show their prompts so that's why I blurted it out in the beginning and this time we're having her little girl riding a horse which you've already seen the image because this is what I used for the cover part of the when we were switched to mid journey so you'll see it in just a second but basically this shows the difference that the 3d you are actually taking a the artist is taking a lot of time to create the characters, make the morphs. And I used actually some presets. So mine was even, you know, was moved farther along by someone who created the presets. And so I, so I want to show that, that you can do it in different ways. You can start, but it all starts with that base mesh on the generic Genesis 8 character and then you use the morphs to create the character you want. With AI you simply just type in a text and I think that's what the big uproar is by so many artists is that the people that are making all this artwork and selling it with just text aren't really creating anything. All they're doing is typing. And typing and coming up with the proper wording can be creative as, as well. I'm not trying to take anything away. But when you do 3D, you are put, you put in a lot of time and effort. So I hope you all have enjoyed this look at the difference between 3D and AI.